Ending on a positive note now, uh, boy, big news for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital this week. Uh, they have two people who will be represented on the first all-civilian space flight uh, through SpaceX. It's going to take place in October. Uh, billionaire Jared Isaacman behind this, and uh, it's just thrilling for uh, what I have said many times as a crown jewel in Memphis, Reverend Whalem, that we don't really appreciate, appreciate what we have in our own backyard. There's no doubt about it, Richard. I shall never forget when I first started pastoring, I had a child. Uh, one of our parents had a child who died there, and she came and fell in my arms in the hallway, and all she could say as she sobbed in my arms was, thank God for St. Jude. Man, they are a blessing, and I'm so happy uh, that they're going to benefit from this effort. Including, Otis, uh, people who are joining us uh, late on Sunday night might have seen the commercial that ran during the Super Bowl, uh, uh, boosting this effort. Absolutely, and, and I, I echo what uh, Ken just said, because I had a granddaughter who was treated and treated very successfully at St. Jude, so I have tremendous respect for them. Uh, but this really, what, what this does is makes uh, civilian space travel real, Richard. I mean, all of us of a certain age remember the first teacher in space, Krista McAuliffe, and how that tragically ended on the Challenger back in 1986. But now uh, this is putting uh, St. Jude right there uh, with civilian space travel. That's great. And Sam, uh, the news perspective on this, $200 million is no small amount of change, even for St. Jude, which knows how to fundraise for sure. And just the, the, the news value of uh, a likely a Memphian, because it's going to be one healthcare worker for St. Jude that will be on that flight. Well, it's just going to show that Memphis, you know, sometimes is is not thought of as a big city. It just shows how big of a city it is and how big of an institution this is. Because space travel, it may be a national event. It's an international event. And this is international exposure for St. Jude, for Memphis. And that's a, that's a huge thing for the city. It's very valuable. Indeed. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks, all three of you, for being with us today. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.